Was this the last time we see the big three as we know it? Clay really, really struggled tonight. Two year 30, two year 35, he takes it. I'll I'll take Clay back for that price. Right? Two year 35, two year 30. Yeah, I'm taking that. He got he's not gonna get that money anywhere else. Well, Gil, this is what I offer you from uh for Andrew Wiggins. You can have my <laughs> Commodore albums. What about BT Express? <laughs> Would you like to have Cameo? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw in Ohio players. <laughs> oh, you still got vinyl on? <laughs> hey, what about you like this? You got who is this? Parliament? Oh, I got LTD, I got Atlantic Star. Elements of the universe. Nope. Earth, wind, and fire. The bar caves. Now, you can't have all these. Now, I'm going to give you about four or five of them. I got TP, Teddy Pendergrass. Okay, I heard of Teddy. I'll give you four of those for Andrew Wiggins. That's all I got. I ain't got no players. Now, watching the Olympics, watching the Paris Olympics, Wiggins go out there and try to get a USA by 40. If he goes to the Olympics and score 20, they should whoop his ass. When he get back to go. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Sharp and Gilbert Arenas talk about Klay Thompson leaving the Golden State Warriors. And if the Warriors dynasty is officially over, I want you to hear exactly what they had to say. And then I'll come back with my comments. Was this the last time we see the big three as we know it? Klay really, really struggled tonight. If I'm not mistaken, he was 0 for 10 from the floor. And I think he was like 0 for 6 from the three-point line. So do you believe, Gil, this was the last time that we see the big three as we know it? I have no idea, to be honest, because, you know, if Clay's going to take a pay cut, then, then yes, I'm pretty sure he'll sign back. Um, I know making the case, this is when you know Clay is really, really having a hard time not being signed. The fact that, You've already had a horrible season. The one game you can get to get your value back up, you put out a zero, which is the first time he was scoreless in about 159 playoff games. Wow. His worst playoff performance is the last thing we're going to remember when he's going into free agency. So if I'm him, I don't know if he signs a one-year deal. If he wants a four-year deal, it's going to be oh, no. four-year 30. It, it ain't going to be what his real value is. So whoever gets him, they stealing him. I, do, I don't see him going anywhere else. I do see Warriors getting him for a very cheap price. Yeah, uh, it seems like he only shoots really good against the Lakers. Think about every time he comes to the crib, how he shoots the ball, Gil. You remember the last two times he showed up? He Not the Lakers out the building. Steve Kerr said after the loss, we need Clay back. He still has good years left. We des desperately want him back. Chris Paul, 19 seasons, zero championships. Only Vince Carter, 22 seasons. Jamal Crawford, 20 seasons, have played more seasons without winning a ring. Ring. Is Chris Paul back? Ooh, nah, he ain't back. Oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, this way, this is Chris Paul's first. This is the first time he missed the playoffs in about 14 years. Oh, I know he's salty because he's a competitor, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he's a competitor. So, you know, I well, feel sorry for. Well, right now, Gil, he he complete, he competing against Father Time. He ain't competing against nobody nobody on the court. It's Father Time. And he and Father Time with it. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for those guys, right? The Chris Pauls, the Steve Nash, the John Stocktons. Um, because of this. The idea of who they are, right? They are there to get you better, to make yeah. you look better than you really are. So there's guys Chris Paul made look good that got paychecks off of his passing ability. Yes. And the fact that these guys are not being rewarded with the ring is like, why do you do it? Right. You got guys out here scoring 30, 40 winning rings. You got guys averaging four, five points, starting winning rings. And the guy who's who's a top 75 all time delivering contracts. That's what he out there delivering contracts. And then he goes and he can't complete his career. But I look at it like this. Him winning the ring doesn't put him above magic. He's still. Not above it, uh, you know what I mean? If he's not in front of John Stockton, you win a, a ring at the end of your career. You playing minimal minutes, that doesn't do it for me. Like, you winning the ring being the guy lets me know where you are. So if you're in front of John Stockton or not in front of John Stockton, that's where you are with or yeah. without. Right. You don't get you don't get in front of him because you win a ring coming off the bench averaging four points. That's not how that works. I, I agree. Um, so what so what what are the warriors? You hear Steve Kerr, what's he supposed to say? 
I think he said all the things that a head coach is supposed to say in that situation. We won't step. We won't play back. We believe Clay uh, has years left. You don't get to be as wealthy as, as Joe Lacob and Peter Gruber by spending $177 million and missing the playoffs. Because guess what? You can slash payroll considerably mm-hmm. and miss the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, they're, they're in this real like, I'm pretty sure they're going to offload Wiggins, right? They're going to offload Wiggins, right? The first thing is going to see what they can get Clay for. Right. If you can get what they offer him four year, what is it four year four? No, they offer him two. Did they offer him two years at 48? Two year 48? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that's what they offered him. Two year 30, two year 35. He takes it. Right. I'll, I'll take Clay back for that price. Right. Two year 35, two year 30. Yeah. I'm taking that. He got, he's not going to get that money anywhere else. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're going to off, um, Wiggins give Kaminga. He gonna give Kaminga that uh spot. I don't mind well, Kaminga playing the three. Well, Gil, this is what I offer you from uh for Andrew Wiggins. You can have my <laughs> Commodore albums. What about BT Express? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have cameo? Hey, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, you know what? I'm gonna throw in Ohio players. Oh, well, you still got vinyl on? <laughs> hey, what about you? Like this? You got who is this? Parliament. Oh, uh, but I got LT. Hold on, I got LTD. Who is that? LTD. Yeah, Jeffrey Osborne. Love the stranger. I got yeah. Atlantic Star. Never heard of him. Elements of the universe. No. Nope. Twenty five. The Bar K's. No. Now you can't have all these. Now I'm gonna give you my boy five of. I got Big Lady Williams. Cause <laughs> I love you. Hey, open the eyes. Another Earth Wind and Fire. <laughs> I got TP. Teddy Pendergrass. Okay, I heard of Teddy. And last but not least, the Gap Band. Never heard so of him. I'll give you four of those for Andrew Wiggins. That's all I got. I ain't got no players. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say they're going to reject that because I don't even think they got a machine that can play that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I throw the penny in to hold, to hold it down so it don't skip on you. So and you take that penny down. Hey, you, you throwing that Wheaties box? With everybody signed? Ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. <laughs> you nah, nah. bottles in the back of you? Yeah. I was thinking of even swap ain't no swindle. I thought the Wheaties box said, nah, I'm getting swindled now. That ain't no even swap. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to say because for the luck, because the Golden State, can you still be the Warriors with no clay? No. Because the, the reason I say that is, look, they just won a championship a few years ago with this yeah, team. 22. I think once Clay gets his, this this is just one of those years. All the elements that life hit hit now. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, thinking about that money, won that money, and it probably it got to him all season. Um, he probably need to get on that boat, shed this season. It happens. You've been you've been great for a long time, right? You battled your knee. Nobody thought you was gonna be the same. You won a championship. Achilles. People talk about it like you, it happens, mm-hmm. right? You know, you got you just got to you, you can't just this is one of those the, like be be grateful of the career you had. Reflect on what you've accomplished. Right. So, you know where you're going next. Right. I think sometimes we we're not living in real time. Right. So we feel depressed, not realizing this legacy we actually done accomplished. And I think right. he needs to sit back and look at the trail he done laid the foundation he done laid, laid for his kids, his family, and himself, right? And I think once he see what he has done and sat back, jumped out of his body and said, I was really that dude coming into next season, the pressure's gone. You think yeah. the Warriors regret getting rid of, rid of Poole and maybe tried to move on from Wiggins? I think they regret a lot of things. Poole going there, obviously, they thought he was going to be the replacement of Steph. And he showed in Washington that he just can't handle the pressure as the dude. Right. And, you know, but he that's got, why he's he, perfect there because he didn't have to be the dude in Golden State. Yeah, true. The dude, but, the dude but, was, but, but what happens is when Clay and Curry leaves, you used to be, he's supposed to be the guy to step up, you know, a tweening type of guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it was, it was a rough one. He's that tweener. He's like, he's like, right. uh, Deion, Deion, was it Deontay Murray? You're a tweener. That tweening yeah. or Oh, DeJounte. DeJounte. In Atlanta, the, the one that Spurs traded, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 that, he's, that, he's that tweener right now. I like him. He's more stable. Um well Weissman Weissman might might have been that was their that was their that was their mess up. Going after 
a, a big man knowing you don't use big men. You don't have an offense for that guy, right? You know, that that's the, the year you should have picked uh, LaMelo Ball. Um, you would have had LaMelo and, so you would have had LaMelo and, what's the name? Pooh? And Pooh. And that, now that's a hell of a <laughs> yeah. future backcourt. Oh, well. <laughs> they got some. They got some decisions now. Watching the Olympics, watching the Paris Olympics, Wiggins go out there and try to get a USA by forty. Yeah. You know, everybody, everybody try to get try to get it to the red, white, and blue. What they get 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 to hey, the Olympics? If he go to the Olympics and if he goes to the Olympics and score twenty, they should whoop his ass when he get back to Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible night for Clay. O of ten, O of six from the three. Wasn't the best outing from Clay Thompson. That he was gonna at least make one shot, make a three pointer, get to the free throw line. Where's the mid range shot? Can you get to the basket? Like I know he suffered a lot of injuries over the last three to four years, but Clay Thompson, he's definitely fell off. Not just because he can't score fifteen or twenty points, it's just because of the inconsistencies. And Gil and Unk were talking about: Is Clay Thompson gonna return to the Warriors? The Warriors almost paid two hundred million dollars in taxes penalties. So do you really want to commit? to a lot of money to this current version of the Warriors just to make Steph, Clay, and Draymond happy. As far as Clay Thompson's contract, I know Gil was saying maybe two years, 30 million, two years, 35. That's a team-friendly deal. They'll be able to retain Clay Thompson, see what you can do about Wiggins, making a lot of money, a couple years left. That's going to be the main thing. How can we get rid of Wiggins' contract? Open up, you know, 30 to 40 million dollars. Chris Paul, he's going to be gone. This was his last year of his contract. So you got 28 million freed up. So the goal was, of course, Chris Paul leaving, finishing up his contract, then Wiggins. Without Wiggins, I think it'll be a no question that Clay Thompson will be back. But if you're unable to get rid of Wiggins and find a trade partner, it's going to be tough to keep Clay Thompson. So I'm not sure if the Warriors want to keep going over the luxury tax, paying all those penalties just to be a playing team and have a chance to be knocked out next season. Unfortunately, Steph Curry's prime years, his remaining prime years are being wasted on a mediocre team, even though they were able to win that NBA Finals a few seasons ago. I think that was it for the Golden State Warriors with this version of the team. Draymond Green, he can't control his anger. He's going to be suspended every single season. He'll miss about five or 10 games due to technical fouls and just being extra on the court. If Draymond Green was playing, didn't miss those games, didn't get suspended for the Rudy Gobert choke and the Nurkic slap. Out of those 10 games, they won a few games. You know, the Warriors, we could be seeing them in the sixth seed right now. Even though they didn't have the best season, they just didn't have all their players throughout the whole entire season. So just with Klay Thompson going to the bench and then starting again, with Draymond Green can't control himself, with Wiggins falling off as well, this Warriors team isn't looking good. So if you're Klay Thompson, based off how you played the last season or two, you finished out this game terribly. Do you take that discount? Do you really want to remain with the Warriors or do you want to try to get that last money bag of your career? Klay Thompson's, what, 34, 35 years old? So this is it. Whatever contract that he signs long term, that's pretty much a wrap. Unless he's going to do two-year deals, one-year opt-outs. The Orlando Magic, there's rumors of them being interested in Klay. So they may offer him a decent little bag to kind of pry him away from the Warriors. So you got to be on the lookout for the Orlando Magic. I know a lot of people are talking about Klay Thompson to the Lakers. That's a possibility as well. The Lakers team, they haven't really shored up the spots on their team. So I can see that being a possibility. The Miami Heat, maybe. We do need another shooter. Not sure what's going on with Duncan Robinson and his back issues. Tyler Hero gets injured every single season, so he's bound to miss 20 to 30 games per season. Is Klay Thompson willing to go to the Miami Heat organization and be that prime six-man shooter coming off the bench? So there are a handful of teams that Klay Thompson can go to, but if he wants to finish out his career with the Golden State Warriors, he's definitely going to have to take that discount. Again, Warriors, get rid of Wiggins. Chris Paul is off the books. You can make some moves in free agency. The Warriors, they're going to need a big man that can shoot the three, seven feet tall. You got to get big because at the end of the day, the Warriors, if that three-point shot isn't falling, they're going to have to find another game plan to score some baskets. Draymond Green can only do so much in the paint. He's been making some threes lately, getting to the basket. So he showed that he does have some offensive capabilities left, but he's not a guarantee to score 15 or 20 points. He may 
may do that once every few games, but you're going to need a big man that can stretch the floor, a stretch five that can make that three point shot. If you're the Golden State Warriors, maybe you find that in the draft or maybe you can sign a center and free agency or make a key trade, including Wiggins. So the Warriors, this version is officially over. You got to get better. The Warriors dynasty, in my opinion, it's an 80 percent chance it can change. It all depends on how they can move money off the books. And if Clay Thompson signs for a team friendly deal, like, subscribe, comment. Do you think Clay Thompson is leaving the Golden State Warriors? And do you think the Golden State Warriors dynasty is officially over? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.